So this is a little video tour of my uh, Vivaro 2014 model Sportif, um, uh, small wheelbase, so small enough to fit into pretty much every parking space and um, even multi-storey car parks. It's in very good condition. Inside the cab, a little bit of marking on the seats. I've had seat covers on, so I haven't really noticed it. Um, in the middle, there is a uh, reversing camera, if I turn that on. So that allows you to uh, help with parking, DAB, digital radio and CD player. There is aircon, although it's currently broken, um, so it would need to be looked at. I haven't looked at getting that repaired yet. Um, the mileage, that should come up any second, is, uh, if I tap through to it, uh, 76,459 at the moment. Might be a few miles higher by the time it sells, but it shouldn't be much higher. Starts all right, as you can hear. Then, if uh, I show you around the outside, a few very minor scuffs, um, as you might expect from a van of this age, but nothing uh, particularly noticeable or serious. Very tidy little van, actually. The um, the blue colour I think is really nice. Um, tinted windows all the way around. Skylights on top you this side of the cab and then we can go to the living area. So this is the passenger side. And then if we go into the living area where the action's at, so in here it is set up as a, uh, a widthways bed, um, which is a small double, very comfortable for a single person, um, it'd be relatively straightforward to build some sort of extension uh, which slid out from underneath the mattress um, to fill the galley. So if um, if you wanted to turn the entire back into a bed, that would certainly be possible. Um, here we have a sink, which is on a 12 volt pump. So um, there's no water in at the moment, but that will bring water up from the cupboard underneath where I've got just two simple water containers. I think that's 20 litres and five litres. Um, but plenty of fresh water for, for camping. A little handy side table you can bring down here for checking levels. That's also how you can fill the diesel heater tank, which is just positioned there. Um, you can pull that out when the water's moved forward. Um, magnetic um, strip, very useful for just popping things on. Um, over here is a pantry drawer, which is handy for various bottles, all sorts. Um, love the pantry drawer. Each of the cabinets just um, raises and locks with a little hidden thing, so it looks really smart but secure for when you're driving. Uh, two drawers. This one has a insert for your cutlery to give you maximum storage room in there. Very big spacious drawers which go back um, to the full width. Um, selling the van with the fuel for the stove, which is an Orogo 3000 alcohol stove which are popular on boats, um, safer than gas systems and really easy to pick up um, alcohol all around Europe or UK. Um, underneath here we've got a movable pad with the chemical toilet in there, which has only been used a couple of times for number ones. Um, so if you want, want that, that's included in the sale. Then over here is the fridge compartment. Um, it's an Indel B fridge. Uh, plenty of space, it can be used right down to a freezer level um, and has an automatic cutoff once the battery level drops too low to prevent you running your um, battery down too much. So um, really good little fridge, very efficient. I can normally get about three days on the 12 amp battery. Well, I didn't show you the electrics. Uh, diesel heater control. Diesel heater comes out here and is installed under the passenger seats. Um, battery monitor. This is for switching on the inverter so that you can use the three pin plugs. Um, and then chargers, two USBs and then a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger port. So here's a little overview of the um, electrical system behind the driver's seats. This is the 12 volt uh, 120 amp hour battery. Um, this charges via the alternator and a, and a smart split charge relay. Um, there's also a uh, mains charger, so when you're plugged in um, to the mains, uh, to the hookup, which is on the side, 
Um, it will also charge the battery as well as running, you know, the other electrics. Um, there is a switch here for isolating the system. So um, when you want it to be off, if you're traveling, you don't want to run the battery down. And then when you want to turn the system on, you can just turn it. Um, there's a spare key for that as well. This key uh, switches the three pin plugs in the back between the converter and the mains hookup. So um, there is a, a 300 watt converter down the bottom um, for running laptops and things like that. Uh, and fuse board, um, everything else is fairly straightforward, I think. This is the uh, table extension. It's quite hard for me to do it one handed, but this boom arm can be positioned and the height raised and lowered and a table there with the swivel plate on it positioned to give you a whole host of arrangements for the table, which is really good. The bed at the moment is in its, uh, in its bed mode. Um, but the great thing is, is that it's on pistons. So you can just simply fold it up very quickly, one handed, um, and then reposition your, your cushions. Uh, and that allows you to sleep with comfort. And there's some uh, props that go behind the back corners just to keep that in the sofa position. Uh, a similar arrangement for this side. So again, look, lifted one handed, really easy with a mattress on top. Um, enough storage for six big crates underneath um, or longer camping things. If you have surfboards, you can take down this middle panel and take the toilet out and you get the entire length of the van for storage um, for smaller items. Uh, the sofa also, I mean the benefit of it doing this way and there are some straps that you can hook on the corners which allows it to be a sofa that looks out the back doors as well so um, if you get somewhere with a good view out the back you can park up and enjoy the view that way. I'll just show you the supports for the back of the bed so in order to get this secure these little slots just uh, fix in on either side which means you can get tons of you can lean very comfortably um, on the bed and that's not gonna not gonna go anywhere um, the gas strikes to help lift it table on the back as i said goes onto the swivel boom plate and a handy little didn't mention it handy little shelf above the um the cab window with bungee cords to help um keep everything in place so this is the van in night mode um, you can see the uh, blackout um, blinds in the um, sides keep the light really low and there's six um, spotlights. These window covers are quite simple. They have um, suction cups to keep them to the windows and they're quite heavily insulated so it's good for using um, in the winter. I've slept in the van um, December and November no problems um, using the diesel heater or even through the night I um, had the heater off and kept nice and warm. There is a um, dimmable lighting switch so you can change the amount um, of brightness to um, suit your mood and you can sort of also jump between levels um, by tapping anywhere on the ring. Um, the M will bring it up in different increments. So. Um, yeah, they live nice and bright. I haven't got any skylight blackouts, but that would be a pretty simple job to do. Um, in the skylights, there is also um, fans, which when you press this button here, this one extracts and this one pulls in. So it helps create a, a, a light airflow to um, help dissipate cooking or any you know condensation from sleeping. So um, that's the van. Hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea of it. Um, I've loved driving it, it's been a very good vehicle, um, I've used it as a camper um, and a little mobile office, um, so very sad to part with it but looking forward to doing a new conversion, so um, yeah I hope that it, um, yeah, gives an idea and if you've got any questions do let me know.